Hey, what is up, YouTube? Um, Lunar here, and today I am bringing you episode, I think, number four of the the new Adobe tutorials and stuff. Um, in this episode, I will be using what we did uh, in the last video with text to add text to my bowling logo uh, in a couple different ways. Um, so, with that said, let's get right into it. <laughs> first things I'll probably do is I'll probably want to add text um, you know maybe in a circle around it and then probably on a banner in front of it and so usually what goes on text is like where the team is located city state you know um, city country I don't know and then like your team name and then maybe like a date or um, like a group or league or something so I'll probably just make my team name wait for it the granny shotters because I feel like that team name is um, this this represents a lot of people in bowling you know doing those granny shots mm-hmm um, okay so and let's just say that you're located in Austin Texas and this is not where I live it's just a widely known city that will work <laughs> okay so what I'll probably do first is I'll probably make a series of circles around the outside to kind of give that uh, radial uh, pattern thing. Um, okay, so there's one circle, and to keep it to, you know, not too many colors, I'll make it the color of the background um, or, you know, shirt or poster, whatever you're designing it for. Okay, so here's this circle, and it'll probably be a smaller circle just to kind of separate the ball from the words. Um, but we could also make it gray. That'd be cool. Wait, nope. I just need to select the circle. Make it gray like so. And make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to do on PC Control C to copy it and then Control B to paste it behind. And so now I have the circle directly behind it. And this one I'll probably make the same shade as the background. And then to finish it off, I'll do Control C, Control B again to get a third. Well, not really a third, but kind of like another outline. Whoops. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And as you can see, this isn't really that visible um, up against the green. All right, let's just use that for now. Yeah, okay. So now you want the team name onto the circle like this little area right here and actually I think I'm gonna put the city and state on there um, actually let me do a, um, a longer name so I can fill more space I'll do San Antonio and I think I spelled that right okay yeah, I just checked I spelled that right <laughs> okay so you wanna choose the font I really like this font um, you can get it I don't, I don't remember where you can get it I think it's on the Adobe type kit which you would have if you you know, uh, pay for the Adobe Suite. And I'll make it all caps because all caps is kind of cool. And it looks like I'll need to shrink it a little bit. But what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up making a circle that goes like kind of in the middle of the green, like up in this area. And since I have everything grouped, I can circle or I can center everything together to where it works fine. And yeah, so it'd be something like that. Oops, I did that wrong. Something like this. Okay. And so now what you'll do is you'll just get your text. I'll cut it. Delete the text box. And if you do type on a path tool, type on that path and paste it. And then there you go. Now you have your text on your circle area. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I'll go ahead and change the text color to the same color as that just to keep things um, uniform and okay so now I want to fix that it's kinda of sitting on top of the line I don't really like that I like it you know centered so I'll do type on a path type on a path options and then you just want to change this to center and you can preview it and then boom there you go um, so now it's centered and everything looks fine um, pretty cool uh, it's a little bit big actually so wait no not that 
That would just shrink the font size a little bit. Yeah, maybe 60. Okay, so. Okay, so there's that one, but now you need to put on grainy shutters. Well, how are you going to do that? Uh, for, first off, I'm going to change the um, font and the the font to the font and color that I'm using. And if you select it and if you hit I for the little eyedropper, you can actually select text and it'll change it to the font and color. So, like, there we go. Um, okay, so this is going to go on the bottom, and I think I want to put it across a banner. Um, so yeah, to, the way I make banners is I'll usually just do a rectangle and you know, I'll kind of dry fit it, if you will. And let's change, I'll leave it that color for now. And so like next I will make the little ribbon parts that come off of it. Um, so I like to do that with the pen tool. You just, just make a point, hold shift to keep a straight line, make another point, make another point. And then boom, and then right in the center, and then right there, and then so now you have your one edge, and I'll actually move this out a little bit, and then you can stretch it, and I'm going to change these colors so that you can see them, and like how they interact with the, the rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to do that, flip it. Okay, so now we have this so far. I'm going to group these two so we can keep them centered with the rectangle. And now I need to create the little shadows. So the way I do that, let me center it first. The way I do that is also with the pen tool. You can just click, click on all the different points. Click and click. And same thing over here. Click, click, click. Okay, so now that we have those, we need to color them a different color. Um, let's make it let's make it this dark gray and let's change both of these to like a lighter gray maybe like the same color that's in here okay cool um, okay so now we have our banner yeah just making sure that was all good okay so now we have our banner and I'll probably group it all once again um, and then I'll move it up a little bit and you can just set it on there kind of like that and of course I'll have to mess with the colors because like I said earlier the light gray doesn't look good against the lime um, okay so that's kind of cool right right well let's make it more exciting let's um, let's warp it um, so I'm gonna do effect warp arch and that's a little bit too much of an arch let me turn it down do like 15 okay 15 is cool 15 is cool um, okay, so there's the arch, and now we just got to put the words on there. Um, okay, so that looks about right, and then let's arch this the same way that we arch the um, the banner, and that curve probably make it about like 12 or 13. That looks good, and I'll probably shrink it just a tad bit more. Go ahead and recenter everything and then move this down some. So now you have the San Antonio, Texas granny shotters. And actually, I just had an idea. Let's um let's change this up a little bit. So you can on um a text on the path you can do control C, control B to copy it directly behind. So now I have a copy of the text. And um yeah, so now this is in the way, so I'm going to hide this just so I can see what I'm working on. And I'll double click this, and then I'll. I'm going to make this say just Texas. Um, and then I'll move it all the way down to the bottom. And then I'll probably make this one say just San Antonio. Okay, so now this is upside down, so we have to flip it. So if you go into type, type on a path type on a path options you can go to flip and it's flipped it's magic <laughs> I think this program is just magic it's wizardry okay so there's that one and then here's this one I mean it looks centered enough and if you put that back on now you have the San Antonio granny shotters that are out of Texas pretty cool uh, this text I, I kinda like kerning my text it's it makes it kinda sleek kinda modern if you will um, okay, so there's a 200, 200, I don't know what 
what this is measured in, but 200 kern, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and this one, you know, changes it to 200 also. Uh, pretty cool. Maybe make it 300. I like it. I like it. Okay, so so far, this is what we got. Centered all nice and good. And I'm thinking there's a, a couple more things I want to do, and then then I'll end the episode. Okay, so this blank space right here is uh, not cool, not cool. So what I'm gonna do is add some stars because stars just go with sports. I don't know. Um, so over here, you can go to the star tool. If you click and hold on the rectangle tool, you'll get the star tool. You can click and drag, and you have a star. If you hold shift, no. Uh, alt. If you hold Alt, you'll get a perfect star, like so. So that's what I want. I want this perfect star. So let me shrink it, and then I'm gonna just put it on here. Just slap it right on there. Okay, so shrink it a little bit more. Kind of align it to where you think it looks good. I mean, you you may be able to get it perfect, but I haven't found a way. So I like it kind of like there, and I'll put one more down this way a little bit. You know, space them good. And so what I'll do now is I'll just select both and group them first and just hold alt to copy them and shift to keep them like on the same line. If you don't hold shift, they'll go everywhere. So hold shift and alt and it copies them over here. And then you can go to object, transform, reflect, reflect vertically along a vertical axis. And if you hit OK, then they'll be flipped the right direction. And so there we go. We have the San Antonio Granny Shotters. Number one bowling lead or bowling team in the state. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's about it. I think I may I may change the color up a little bit and uh, come back with you at you know what I come up with. Alright, so I changed the colors a little bit and I think this looks kinda cool, like a weird light orangey brown, um, a dark maroon-ish ball with some white and then the dark gray for the um, the edges. So yeah, this is what I have now for the colors. So now I'll see you guys in the next one.